So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to seventh tutorial in C programming in which we're going to discuss about what GCC is for C programming. Now, what happens is that you have seen that we have written all these fancy C programs um, over the time, but uh, this is all good for nothing unless the computer can actually understand it. And unfortunately, your computer only understands numbers. And especially just binary that is just zeros and ones so it's, it's extremely difficult for us to write zeros and ones directly for the processor to process them and do certain instructions in the circuit so what we do is we come up with high level languages like C and what we do is we write another piece of software which allows us to convert this directly into zeros and ones so that it's convenient for us to write complex programs but uh, at the same time we can convert it to what computer understands for c that particular tool is called gcc so you can see that when we write a very simple hello world again in this um tutorial so let me just go ahead and write this here we are so when we write it we go back to the terminal and i start writing gcc right so if i go ahead and write gcc version you're going to see that we get some information spitted out here. By the way, this is a bash shell if you have never seen that. So it's basically just a command line prompt which allows you to run certain commands on your system. So what happens with GCC is that you can provide it certain files, certain C files. So you have to write GCC space, then the name of your file, in this case tutorial 7.c and hit enter. Now when you do that, under the hood what gcc would do is that it will read this file it will see okay well yeah i understand what you're doing here i understand everything and it creates something which is understandable by machine so if you see here we have a file called a dot out right there's nothing special about this out extension it just means output so this a dot out file is something which is not readable by humans by us but it is completely understandable by a computer so how do you execute it for the computer well you write dot slash and a dot out dot slash means in the current directory find this file a dot out and execute it hit enter and you get hello world out on the screen now we get this because computer was able to understand that yes we want to print something on the screen and what that value is is hello world so this is how gcc works it connects two worlds the human world and the computer world and gcc is the bridge which allows humans to code in human friendly languages like these at the same time allows computers to understand what the humans have written so yeah a very important piece of software so that's that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one real quick